A well-designed architecture portfolio website can be a game-changer for attracting and retaining clients. It's a powerful tool for showcasing your work and building your brand. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how to easily create your own professional-looking architecture portfolio website in just three simple steps using Wix and its beginner-friendly drag-and-drop editor. First, we are going to pick the general design and color scheme of your website by choosing a pre-designed website template. Then we will choose the pages and features your website should consist of. To help you with this step, we've analyzed dozens of architecture portfolio websites and will show you the most common pages and features found on these sites, which you should also have. And finally, we are going to customize your website and add content using Wix's brand new AI text generator and the free library of thousands of pictures and videos. Although all the steps in this tutorial can be completed with a 100% free Wix account, I will also share a bonus tip on how to save 50% on most premium plans if you want to have a professional domain or some of the premium features. So let's get started. Click the link in the description below to arrive at the sign up page. To create a 100% free account, add your email address and click Start Now. On the next page, create your password. Alternatively, you can sign up using your Google or Facebook account. After clicking Sign Up, you arrive at this page. Choose the first option if you are building a website for yourself, your business, or a friend. Here, you can more fully describe your topic to receive better template recommendations. For the purpose of this video, let's pretend we're creating a website for an architect named Michelle Gardner. In the next steps, you can configure a few additional things for your website and business. Please keep in mind that Wix is currently testing various designs and versions of this sign-up process. In some versions, you can select the goals and features for your website or choose a pre-made template. Regardless of the version you see, we always recommend skipping these steps by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner. By jumping straight to the dashboard, we can configure these things later in the editor where we'll have many more options to choose from. The dashboard you see before you is where you will manage all settings related to your website and business. From here you can connect a domain or begin optimizing your website to make it easier to get found on Google. On the left-hand side, you will find sections for managing various aspects of your website, such as your blog, portfolio, contact form, newsletter subscribers, and more. But first, we must create the website. To do this, click on Design Site. Here, you can choose to allow Wix's AI to build the site for you. Since these websites are limited in terms of design and functionality, we only recommend this option if you don't want to invest any time in building and customizing your website. Otherwise, click on Pick a Template. You can now see all the different template options for your website. Let me provide a short explanation of templates to fully understand their purpose. Typically, a website consists of three things. The general design and color scheme, the pages and features, and the content, for example, text, images, and videos. Templates, like the ones you see here, don't require you to build everything from scratch. Instead, you can choose one that you really like and customize it to meet your needs. This speeds up the process, making it easier and more efficient. The recommended templates in this list are already filtered by your topic. To see all available templates, simply click on All or delete the input in the search bar. Just remember, even using the topic-specific filter provides us with many pages of beautifully professional template options so finding something you like should not be a problem. Furthermore, we've also included our favorite architecture portfolio website examples in the description in case you need inspiration. I really like this template. Clicking on View allows us to preview the entire template with its different subpages. We can also see how your website would look on a mobile device. And if you are unsure about the template, don't worry. You can always start over with a new template and build as many versions as you like for free. Once you have chosen the best template for your website, simply click on Edit. Let's quickly discuss the editor features most relevant to you when starting out. Return to your dashboard at any time by clicking on the Wix logo in the upper left corner. Click Save after making changes. Click Preview to view how other users see your website. When ready to launch your website, click Publish. We will provide more information about this in the last step of this tutorial. The search bar is helpful should you have a question or want a new section or feature for your website. 
The zoom feature allows you to zoom in and out to get a better picture of your overall website design. The redo and undo features are helpful should you make a mistake. Later we will address how to connect your own domain. This feature allows you to switch between your website's desktop and mobile views. This feature lets you switch between your different website pages. To add something to your website or change general things, for example colors, click on the left sidebar. Becoming an editor expert requires mastering three essential skills, deleting, adding, and changing things. I will walk you through each of these actions to show you how to apply them to whole pages, sections of a page, and individual elements. Once you've mastered these skills, you can start customizing your website to your liking. Let's start with managing whole pages. To delete an existing page, click on the Pages and Menu icon, then click on the three dots next to the page you want to delete, and select Delete. You can also hide a page you don't want visitors to see if, for instance, you're still working on its content. To add a new page, click on Add Page in the same menu, and either choose the page type you want to add, or start with a blank page. If you prefer, you can also duplicate an existing page. To change the position of an existing page, pick it up and drop it where you want it. To rename a page, click on the three dots next to it and select Rename. To add a new feature to your website, like a blog or live chat, click on Add Apps in the menu and select an app. Let's move on to managing sections within existing pages. To delete a section, select it and press the Delete key on your keyboard or right-click on the section and choose Delete. To add a new section, click on Add Section, where you want to put it. Then, select the type of section you want and drag and drop it onto your page. You can also click on the Add Section icon on the left side menu, search for the desired section, and drag it onto your page. To modify a section's layout, click on it and select Explore Section Layout. Choose from various layouts for the same section and modify its content, such as the title and description button. To change a section's background color or replace it with an image or video, click on Change Section Background and select your preferred color, image, or video. You can also add scroll effects or shape dividers to your backgrounds. Now that you know how to manage whole pages and page sections, let's finish this editor tour by discussing how to do the same with elements. Every headline, text, button, or image on your website is an element. To delete an element, use the Delete key on your keyboard or right-click on the element and select Delete. To add an element, click on Add Elements in the left side menu, search for the element you want to add, and drag it to the desired position. To demonstrate, let's add an image and a button to the header section. If a section isn't big enough for the added element, click on the section and adjust its height. To change the position and size of an element, drag, drop, and resize it until it looks how you want it. To modify an element's content, use the first button that appears when clicking on the element. By clicking on the Settings icon, you can customize various settings related to the element. You now know everything you need to customize your template. Now, it's time to add some subpages and features to your website. You probably already have an idea of what pages and features you want on your website, but if you need guidance, we've analyzed dozens of architecture portfolio websites to identify common pages and features. Our analysis shows that including a portfolio, an about page, and a contact page is a must-have for any architecture portfolio website. Additionally, 57% of the websites we reviewed included a blog. Other pages and features seem either less relevant or only necessary in specific cases. But don't worry if you're unsure about what to include because you can choose any starting point and make changes or additions as needed. And please keep in mind that you don't need everything to launch your website. Focus on finishing your first version and then add more if you like. Many websites never go live, and having too many pages to fill with content is one reason why. Every template already has a few subpages added. When starting with a new template, it's always helpful to delete pages that are not needed or hide pages that may not be required immediately, but may be useful in the future. 
To do this, click on Pages and Menu, and then on Site Menu. Wix has three types of menu items. Anchors. You can recognize them due to the anchor icon. These items are not whole pages, but just sections within a page. You can link a menu point with a section using an anchor. Regular pages, like an About page or Contact page. These pages have the paper icon and are characterized by simple pages without complex functionality or processes attached. Apps. These have a unique icon depending on the app. An app is a feature or a whole content category like a blog, a booking section, or an e-commerce store with lots of settings and configurations needed. Wix has a whole app market with hundreds of great apps that you can find by clicking on the Add Apps icon in the left side menu. It's important to note that not all apps are available in the free plan, so be sure to check before adding them. Let's now delete and hide the pages we don't need. Now that we have all the subpages and apps we need, we can start the customization process. Let's start with the About page to show you how easy it is. Go to the Page menu in the top left corner. Select the About page. First, let's change the picture and add one of Michelle Gardner, our fictional architect. To do this, click on the picture. Now click on Change Image. Now upload your own images, or search within the free library of images provided by Wix. To change an image's crop, double-click on it to change it. That looks good. The brand new AI Text Generator feature makes it much faster to write content for your website. Here's how it works. To open the AI Text Creator, first click on any text on your website and then on Create AI Text. Add a business type, a topic, and a few details, and click Create Text. You will now receive three different AI-generated versions that you can use for free by clicking on Use Text. Of course, it is helpful to change the output and add a personalized touch, but having a tool to quickly draft a first version of text can be super useful, which is why we really love this feature. On the Contact page, you can easily change the title, background image, and contact details. You can also add the location of your business and change the address on the map. Simply click on the map and then on Manage Locations. From here, you can change the address. Let's now customize the contact form. You can easily rename the field names, buttons, and the text that will appear after submitting the form. In addition, you can add new fields such as a phone number. To do this, click on the form and then on Add New Field. Choose the field you want to add and drag and drop it into your form. To enable the form and save the submissions, click on it and then on Create Submission Table. You can now find all form submissions in your dashboard in the Communications section. You can also set up email notifications to ensure you are immediately notified when a potential client completes the form. Let's take a closer look at the Portfolio feature offered by Wix for this type of website. Select the Portfolio subpage in the Page menu and double-click on the Portfolio section to open its settings. This app, specifically designed to manage your portfolio, is very easy to work with. First, add your projects consisting of a title, description, some optional information, and media. If you have more than one project, you can group them into collections. Each collection has a title, description, cover image, and the projects you want to include in that collection. That's it! By clicking on the Design icon, you can also change the appearance of the portfolio page and customize its design. To build a portfolio for your work and projects, you can also use simple text pages as an alternative. Simply add a new text page for each piece of writing or copy an existing one, and then paste in your content. Let's now customize the blog and publish our first blog post. Go to the Page menu and select the blog page. Click on the Posts section and then on Manage Posts. Here, you can write new posts and manage all blog-related settings. You can also open this section directly from your dashboard by clicking on Blog from the left side menu. Let's start by creating our first post. Click on Create New Post in the upper right corner to open this window. Now, write your first blog post as you would in any other text editor. To categorize your blog posts, add some tags and categories. When finished, click Publish. You can find your blog post in the overview and also in the post section for the blog page. 
Should you receive any comments on your blog posts, you will find them in the comments section of the blog menu. Here, you can manage the comments and reply if needed. When finished with your website, click on the preview button in the top right corner. I recommend that you review every page for both desktop and mobile to ensure it all looks good. To change something, simply click on Back to Editor. Let's say I want to delete this element on mobile. Quickly do this by using the mobile editor, which you can always access by clicking on the mobile icon in the menu. It's important to note that any position and styling changes you do on mobile won't affect your desktop view, so you can optimize both views independently from each other. After reviewing all your pages on both devices, you only need to choose a domain name and publish the website. To do this, click on the blue Publish button in the top right corner. That's it. People find your website by entering this URL into any web browser.